Hey, this is Tony with Music Guy Online. I got your three minute mix fix video tutorial of the week. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to create a natural sounding vocal harmony if you don't already have one, just by using your main vocal or whatever vocal you want to add a harmony for. And to do this, I'm simply going to create a duplicate of the track I wanna harmonize with. And that's all I've done. It's the exact same uh, production on it otherwise, same processing. I'm gonna drop the auto tuner for this example. And in this example, I just want to harmonize a specific part of this vocal. So let's hear it. I just want to do that kind of tonight part right here. You'll see just this bit of audio right here that I want to create that harmony for. So what I'm gonna do, I have this duplicate. I'm gonna roll off the parts I don't want. And I think it's just, in this case, two different notes. So I'll just solo this. So I want this to be the uh, the harmony bit. So first, let's make a cut between those two different notes. It's right about there. Now we have two different notes. And I'm gonna go on the, uh, the processing end, and I already have a delay on this track because I have one uh, as is already on the chorus vocal. So the difference is I'm gonna turn off all the feedback and make this completely wet. And I'm gonna maybe drop this to about 75 milliseconds. So now, when we play the two together, there's going to be a little separation. Because without that, it sounds a bit more robotic. Something like that. All right, so now I'm going to go in, roll up the sleeves a little bit, and select this note in particular. And uh, in live, we can just go ahead and correct the pitch or change the pitch down here in the little sample window. It may vary with your DAW, but you know the process is very similar. So right here, um, I'm already uh, an octave up of what I normally would be. So instead of going up and hitting the uh, the four right here with adding six, uh, going up sixteen, adding four, I'm going to take away four. If you get the uh, the math there, and there it is. And then this one, instead of adding the third, I'm going to take away three and go to nine. Now let's hear these two together. And just like that, we have a natural sounding uh, harmony vocal which, uh, without ever having an actual dedicated harmonizing vocal take. And we can make a sound a little bit uh, more dissimilar from the original by messing with the EQ. I might bring down the high end for a harmony so that, you know, it sounds... A bit more uh, distant, uh, uh, buried sort of in the back of the mix, whereas the main vocal is going to keep that high end and it's going to sound more up front because, again, this harmony is just working to sort of support that main vocal. So let's hear that. And I might work on making this sound a little more natural the way it, when it plunges in, but I've gone ahead and already done the entire phrase that I want to do here, so we can listen to the whole thing right here. And there it is, just that simple. You just gotta roll up your sleeves a little bit, but this is a great way to create a natural and unique sounding harmonizing vocal take. And it doesn't even need to sa uh, sound that uh, original when in the context of a full mix um, that harmony is just going to sound great no matter where it comes from and this is a great way to create a seemingly natural harmony just by using the audio that you already have all right so there you go please subscribe if you haven't i'm tony with music guy online and uh, i will see you next week thank you for watching